My name is Kim, and today we're going to talk about tortoises. Welcome to McHenry County Conservation District's Wonders of the Wild Home Edition. Tortoises, you might ask, are they here? Well, no, they are not native to this area. You might find them in pet stores as they are most commonly kept as pets, although they are native to different areas of the world. The difference between a pet and a wild animal is that a pet has been domesticated and is tame as well as dependent upon its humans for care. A wild animal, on the other hand, is completely self-sufficient in the wild. And pets don't make good wild animals, and wild animals don't make good pets. Why am I bringing this up? Because Spartacus, my tortoise, was found at the Hickory Grove Conservation Area by colleagues of mine. It was walking on the trail, and they recognized that it was not something that belonged there. So they picked it up, and I later decided to go ahead and bring it home. We think that somebody got tired of taking care of it. Tortoises can live many, many years, 40 to 60 years, and some people will have them for a while and then get bored with them. Unfortunately, some people think that releasing their pets into a conservation area is a smart thing to do. Well, it's not. What happens is that these domesticated animals that depend upon humans for survival cannot survive out in the wild. The tortoise that I found, or that my colleagues found, is a Russian tortoise. It's from Central Asia, and it is a desert tortoise, a high mountain tortoise. It hibernates and estivates, which means that it will hibernate in cold weather and in hot weather, and it may not have been able to find a good place to do that or may not have been able to hibernate long enough for our really long winters. Luckily, we found him and saved him, and now he's my pet, and I'm going to share Spartacus with you today. So tortoises have some features that are similar to our native aquatic turtles. They have a beak, which is that mouth part, similar to a uh, tooth, and they have the carapace, the shell top, as well as the plastron, the shell bottom. The main difference is that tortoises are completely dry land creatures. So she is dry and scaly, and her feet have long claws that help for digging and for climbing, but she does not have webbed feet, so she's not a swimmer. The tortoise diet is definitely different than aquatic turtles. While aquatic turtles will eat fish and other critters, the tortoise is exclusively an herbivore, eating mostly greens with just a little bit of fruit and vegetable. Now tortoises actually make decent pets. Spartacus here is somewhat, has a, a friendly personality. But what you need to make sure you do is you need to make sure you take your due diligence in researching where it's coming from. Some people take tortoises from the wild, smuggle them in to sell them. This is not a good thing because not only are the wild animals not as suitable as pets, the Russian tortoise in particular is actually considered threatened in its native habitat. Too many people are either eating it for food or taking it for the pet trade. The other thing is you need to be able to commit because you're gonna have the tortoise for a very long time. So you want to make sure that you're going to take care of it for the 40 or 60 years that it will live. We don't actually know how old Spartacus is and it's there's not a way to tell by looking at her. We know she was full grown when we found her so she could be anywhere between 10 and 40 years old, and we're not sure. 
So I'm sure there's a few people out there asking why Spartacus is a she and a Russian tortoise. It's because when she was found, we thought she was originally a male Greek tortoise, and Spartacus seemed to make sense as a name. But by the time we did enough research to find out what she actually was, the name had already stuck. I want to thank you for listening and make sure that you always respect the plants and animals in your local conservation area and watch for us next time on McHenry County Conservation District's Wonders of the Wild. Oh, <laughs>